Jeremiah chapter 1, verse 9 and 10 tells us that prophetic words that God puts in our mouth are empowered to uproot, pull down, destroy, and also plant and build up. I think most of you know that three months or so ago, Holy Spirit spoke to me and said, I want you to go to Washington, D.C., get as close to the White House as you can, and speak prophetic words into our nation's capital. There's something about being on site that Holy Spirit wanted me to be on site and declare words that would resonate into the atmosphere. Principalities and powers over that city heard it. And uh, there's an authority in our voice that I knew Holy Spirit was sending me to declare some prophetic dreams, some prophetic visions, and prophetic words. And tonight, what I'm going to do for the next few moments is declare fresh excerpts from those 10 uh, nights in Washington, those 10 prophetic words. Of course, I'm not going to release the whole thing. Couldn't do that. You can get them online. But I felt like there are certain phrases, certain things that I want to live in this room. God's word's alive. It's powerful. It accomplishes what he sent it forth to do. There's assignments in these words as Isaiah 55 describes. These words are going to activate angels, mighty angels. They're, they're here tonight. There are hundreds of angels in this, in this room. Government angels, the seraphim, are here. Why are they here? Because this is one spot on this planet that is focused on changing things, that has the focus of thousands and thousands of the saints decreeing together for a purpose of God to be established and done. We're not the only place, I know that, but this is one of them. Angels know that, Holy Spirit knows it, and he has them ready for assignments that I believe are gonna activate from this place tonight. So hear these excerpts and, and wrap your faith in the words that God has given uh, to me for about five years now, something like that. I will now deal with the oppression of my people. I've heard their cry and I will break the hold of the taskmaster's rule. Though they bow their, bow their necks in stubborn resistance, I will harness them with nose rings and lead them to their place of destruction. Like oxen to the slaughter, I will pull them to their place of defeat. The words of their Pharaoh will be as chaff in the winds as my angels of breakthrough scatter and shatter their influence in the land. For the king says, I am breaking open doors to freedom. I am revealing paths of liberty. I am breaking through with my power and I am ending the taskmaster's rule. For you have seen the fireworks of your adversaries. Now you will see the spirit's fireworks. You will see the fire power of the ecclesia. It will not be fireworks of grandeur in the sky, streaking and falling to the earth for show. No, it will be fireworks of explosive power raining down upon thrones of iniquity. My fireworks will explode against demon princes. My firepower will explode, preparing the way for my kingdom's invasion of the earth. My power will explode against rulers of darkness. They can scatter, they can run, but they can't hide. My warriors will find them. I'm coming to explode against and destroy the works of hell. This is not something I wish for. This is something I planned for. 
Holy Spirit has now released weapons of war reserved for your time. New weapons are going off in the spirit realm. Hear the sound of air raid sirens. I will now move in great strength, positioning and aligning myself for aggressive movement upon the earth, says the Lord, for you will see the strong arm of your God as you have never seen before in your generation. Indeed, I am rising in my aggressive nature and I will show that I am the great one. I will show that from my throne is true and ultimate authority. I will show the weakness of those who rise to disdain me or disdain my people. For I will now, says the Lord, release strategies upon the earth that indeed block the adversary's strategies. Great revival fire will burn throughout the world as my greatest awakening now begins. Regions and entire nations will become affected in my increasing glory. My shaking will come. Walls, strongholds, obstacles of hell's fortification are going to be shaken down even as you, the people of God, are shaken free. My shakings will also open ancient wells of revival. I will shake open the capped wells of evangelism. I will shake open the ancient wells of healings, miracles, and mighty deliverance. I will shake down the barricades to new roads. I declare, says the Lord, new roads, new inroads, new mantles, new vision, new harvest. Behold, I do new things and you will see it spring forth for the battle lines are drawn. The strategies are in place. Preparations have been made. And I will now gather my angel armies with my ecclesia armies in a unified coalition. The coalition of my willing, says the Lord, those who run to battle, not run from it. My earth and heaven armies will attack thrones of iniquity, thrones of idolatry, thrones of rebellion, thrones of witchcraft, thrones of humanism and antichrist demons. But I am releasing entire divisions of angel armies to go along and assist the decrees of my heirs. My greatest campaign, says the Lord, is now due. And will come forth from the shaking. It will accelerate an alignment with my purpose. And thrones of dominion over Washington, D.C. will come down. Arise and roar, Ecclesia. Arise and roar, Ecclesia. Arise and fight, arise and shine. Indeed, your light has come. Arise with great hope and display a heart that is not shaken. For I will perform my word with zealous passion. Look not at the shaking, look at me, says the Lord, and you will see the aggression of the Lord of hosts. You will see the strong arm of the Lord. You will experience the aggression of heaven's warriors moving in unrelenting purpose on your behalf. And you will experience the presence of my glory that advances my mightiness to protect, to save, to strengthen, and change this nation. Hmm. U-turns are en route the American way. U-turns have been planned to enter states. E-N-T-E-R. Enter states. New ways to different destinations will now, now appear. Rerouting now through freedom states. 
My highways will be followed to places of reset. My kingdom government is entering states, influencing and reconnecting covenants. U-turns are developing and will accelerate change in Washington, D.C. For my shaking will come and will increase. Announcing as signs on your highway, turn here, turn here, turn here, turn here, change, change, change. U-turns are also coming to Capitol Hill, says the Lord. Policies will now turn. Leaders will flip to my ways. I will turn some of their hearts as I did Saul of Tarsus. Yes, there are some Sauls in D.C. and in state capitals who will become Pauls. U-turns are coming. U-turns are coming to systemic deep state corruption in the nation. Leaders will flip and they will stand against illegal shadow government. There will come a turning that my ecclesia has stood for. U-turns are also coming to the education system. Systematic indoctrinations of evil will now be shaken, destroyed, and turned around. What was meant for evil will now turn for good. You will see U-turns also at the Supreme Court. U-turns will come to long-standing laws that have opposed me. Yes, a Saul will become a Paul on the Supreme Court. The American way will turn. Exit ramps of turnaround are now in place. Dictators, oligarchs, hierarchies, family dynasties that run with the camp of Lucifer. Those who run on demon errands will be confronted and stopped by my power rising exponentially. For it will be seen, says the Lord, that I cannot be confined I cannot be confined by man's law. I cannot be confined by man's wisdom. I cannot be confined by the language of fools. It cannot be confined by capitals. It cannot be confined by Congress or parliaments. I cannot be confined. I will break out against confinement the shattering of confinement has begun. Yes, indeed. I have a surprise for you, says the Lord. Mm -hmm. the, Lord of, the Lord of hosts decrees. I've commissioned Michael, my war prince, to release sufficient warriors from his army to assist my ecclesias to unlock this nation, says the Lord. They will swing the battering rams of heaven energized by decrees of my word. I will now release explosive power against entrenched evil. No longer will its wicked conspiracy be swept under the rug. I am pulling the corrupt all rug off of it, says the Lord. I will expose their diabolical plans. I say your rug will now become your burial shroud. I will bury you. Your tombstone reads by my own finger, vanquished. My ecclesia and my angel armies will explode on your strongholds and destroy them, sending shockwaves around the world and especially the United States. I will break the back of demon princes and they will no longer stand. 
I will unravel hell's plan. I will unravel your cover up. I will unravel your coup. I will unravel your conspiracy. I will unravel your diabolical dynasties and I will unravel the fraud. I am releasing spiritual hurricanes, says the Lord. A mighty rushing wind is blowing through the land, propelled by Holy Spirit and his angel armies. It will blow away the plans of the forever loser. It will uproot iniquity. It will uproot demon doctrine. It will blow the lid off lies. It will blow the lid off deception. And it will blow the lid off Jezebel government. Aren't you glad I didn't do a hundred of these? The Lord says swift strategic maneuvers are now activating through my ecclesia to scatter lewd pollutions of my identity for male and female. The demonic prince of perversion promoting doctrines of transgender will be suddenly struck, struck repeatedly and boldly by my powerful advancing kingdom and by my angels. Truth will be my ecclesia's buckler. And the Lord says, just as surely as Sodom and Gomorrah were destroyed for perverting my identity for men and women. So will the demon doctrines of blind leaders of the blind now be scattered. Original intent says the Lord. 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 Original intent says the Lord will be proclaimed. A rapid strike, a sudden, energetic, concerted effort will now push for me and my ways. Boardrooms will change. Corporations will change. Government leaders will change or they will be changed. Corporate identities will change. That's already been happening. The world will now see a different church, a ruling and reigning with me church. A church that strikes hell's aggression with their own aggression and lightning like speed. They will change the culture. When the culture pushes them, my ecclesia will now push back. When government pushes, my ecclesia will now push back. When big, big tech pushes, my ecclesia will push back. When education pushes, they will push back. You are living in a historic moment, a hinge moment, and the blitzkrieg will now forcefully push against the adversaries of my kingdom and strike it with awesome power. Angels in alignment with declarations of the king's ecclesia are activating boomerang strategies to goat government. Divine reversals are now releasing, energizing the angels with decrees of faith. There will be seen reversals to power, reversals to influence, Reversals to authority. Arrogant leaders anointed by hell will experience my supernatural reversals. Dictators anointed by hell will see their empires reversing. Politicians anointing, anointed by hell to finance iniquity will experience humiliating reversals of their wealth. Your evil will boomerang on you. Billionaires anointed by hell to finance iniquity will experience humiliating reversals to their wealth. Those who organize systems of evil to oppose me will experience boomerang. Boomerang is pro proclaimed upon media propaganda. 
Your reversal is planned, says the Lord. Boomerang is planned against education systems that indoctrinate with evil and dare teach doctrines of demons. Your reversal is planned, says the Lord. Boomerang is declared against lawless ideologies and your underground systems. Your reversal is also planned. My angels have been deployed against you. Days of boomerang have begun and, and you will see visible public displays of undeniable reversals. My heirs will rejoice as what was meant for my people's harm will turn for good. I can, I have, and I will stand with them. I can, I have, and I will cause my ecclesia to prevail. I can, I have, and I will anoint history makers. I can, I have, and I will anoint new leaders. I can, I have, and I will change America's history. I can, I have, and I will pour out my spirit and I will shake up hell. My, my reigning church will now rise to rule as intended. My ecclesia will now step forward to lead culture-changing reforms. Like Ruth, she will now own where once she gleaned. I've set a deadline to the gleaning, says the Lord. I am ending a hope-deferred season. I'm ending the taskmaster's rule. You will now shift into my promised provision and my promised destiny. Domination through fear, intimidation, and overreaching laws meant to oppress and muzzle the voice of my people will now be answered and reversed by dominators who are also now becoming terminators. Their bold authoritative decrees will release power from my kingdom to terminate the consequences of hell brought on by natural government that you now see. They will speak with heaven's authority to terminate the dark strategies that have manifested in your nation's capital. They will terminate the plans of satanic princes that hover over your cities. Great apostolic and prophetic boldness will now be released. Unflinching warriors have been mantled. Mighty remnant warriors have been groomed and fitted with my armor. And they are volunteering willingly in this the day of my power. Indeed, my champions are pawing the earth as war horses in anticipation of battle. They are thirsting to take by force what Satan has stolen and used the government of this nation to steal from them. And I will answer hell's challenge. I will answer its mocking. Miraculous power will reinforce my ecclesia. Angel armies will reinforce them. I have determined to present a glorious church, not a dominated church church my champions will now move they will move in my authority and they will affect historic change in this nation for I declare to you says the Lord historic change is coming I declare says the Lord a ruling and reigning church will emerge it will rise in your nation's capital and that ruling and reigning ecclesia that I have determined will carry my delegated authority, will issue orders from heaven that angel armies will move with and help bring to pass. And that legislation in the spirit realm will shift legislation in the natural realm. And I will reconnect to my covenant promises. America, America will be saved. Yeah. 
That is just a very little bit of prophetic words the Lord has given. Oh, given to me. Not to mention the thousands of others he's given to, uh, the prophetic words he's given to others. God's up to something. Now, we're going to make some decrees, and then we're going to move into the song of decrees for our nation um, that Rachel wrote. And I'm going to ask that you would stand, and then um, at the end of these decrees, you, you can begin to, to pray for our, our nation along with the song. You can sit back down, lay on the floor, however you want to do it. But I'd like for you to stand, and we're going to read these decrees together exercise your faith and if you're watching wherever you're watching let your voice be heard as well and um, do it with boldness go ahead we decree a day of reckoning come we decree those who have desecrated our covenants with God must go we decree those who call evil good or good evil, you must go. You cannot overrule us. We decree those who complete with God, disregarding his word, saying their ways are better, you must go in Jesus' name. You will utterly and completely fail. You will be replaced. We decree those who desecrate what's holy, what is sacred, you must go. We decree those who distort the identity of who God is, you must go. We forbid you to rule over us, you will be replaced. We decree those who have polluted this nation with Baal's doctrine, be anathema become detested and replaced. We decree those weighed on God's scales and found wanting, you must go. The kingdom of heaven is against you. The angels of heaven are against you. We forbid you to do business among us. We decree what was stolen from God's house and God's people must be returned. And those who stole it cannot lead us. We decree anyone God says doesn't measure up must go. We forbid your rule. We decree God will snatch power from Baal leaders and give it to whom he chooses. We decree those who toasted Baal in departments and systems all over this nation will now see the writing on the wall. Enough, enough, enough. The hand of God will now interrupt your party. We decree babbling confusion and panic is coming to Baal's leaders. We decree dominoes will fall. Files will be found and opened, exposing evil. An avalanche Christ himself will start. Knees are about to knock as their wickedness is exposed. We decree America will reconnect to its covenant roots. They will produce righteousness that exalts a nation again. We decree America shall be saved. Amen.